Hello friends, I am Arun Kumar and welcome in my channel of Photoshop, Photography and Lightroom. I have started a series that is about uh, tonal range. Uh, this is my fourth tutorial on uh, tonal range and uh, in this tutorial we will talk about uh, how to edit image uh, if I convert this image to black and white. Uh, my next tutorial will be on uh, dynamic range. Both tonal range and uh, dynamic range concepts are totally different and uh, and uh, uh, this time I am having this uh, wallpaper and uh, I will use all these uh, values like highlight, shadows, white, black points whenever they required and how to use. You understand how to use uh, these values but what is the need and when I have to use these uh, values, clarity, exposure, contrast. Not every image requires all these value and it depends on the image, uh, it depends on your uh, photography and what result you want from your photography. So this time I am using this image and I am in the develop module of uh, Lightroom and uh, so I my aim is to convert this image to black and white best tonal range I want from this image. I will use all these values and uh, using histogram and uh, I will convert this image to black and white with the best tonal range. So let's see uh, how to convert this black and white image. So firstly I will convert this image to black and white. And then in the left pane you have this uh, snapshot. Snapshot means every step you can take a snapshot of every step. So this is my first step. Uh, so I will take, I will put this name black and white one. Suppose this is my first step, and uh, further I will change values and store all values. And uh, later on we will discuss about all these values and uh, discuss all uh, changes. Uh, what will be the changes in 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 image? Uh, so this is uh, black and white. Uh, so. I simply I have simply uh, put it to black and white so I have uh, all these four values firstly I will control some highlights because uh, there are more highlights in this area so I want more tonal range or more contrast on this area on face so I am increasing this value but the problem uh, with the white points in this case in this photo is that it is increasing the tonal range or you can say simply adding light to this area instead of putting more light in, in this area so i will save up to this point this is my black and white second image create uh, now i will reset this now I will try another method. Uh, suppose I have choose this color picker and then I will increase the value of this face. Now the light has increased but it's not a good image and uh, I have to save this also so later on we can uh, compare all values black and white 3 now I will reset all these values okay so I will choose now another method uh, then I want maximum sharpness okay mm, this time I am using brush I think brush will be uh, work best for this image. I have choose brush, then uh, I will start masking by pressing O key on the keyboard. Uh, I have nothing changed in this area. Firstly, I will uh, select area that I want. I want more pop up on face, more light on face, more contrast on face because this is the my center part of image. Um, if you have uh, more 
uh, this mask then you uh, simply press alt key on the keyboard and uh, then you will get this minus sign brush then you can subtract this area now again press o key then this mask will hide now this time i'm using this exposure value and uh, more contrast and again more light then i will click on this brush then i will go to again firstly i have to save this value save this setting black and white 4 later on we will compare all these uh, black and white 1 2 3 and 4 so you can easily understand what is going here so this time i am uh, using my brush to enhance the area in the shadows Firstly you apply brush on this area and later on you can adjust the values mm. Ok, then click on this brush Then save this Black and white 5 and uh, I want vignetting on the sides now I will see if that is black and white 6 so I have 6 images with the different settings uh, same image but uh, different six settings now I will compare all these so this is my first uh, step uh, in this step the, impul the image is simply black and white and uh, you can see there is uh, no interest in this image and then uh, later on I have uh, changed the values on uh, highlights and as well as put uh, puts uh, more value to the whites and uh, this is not a good image now third time I have uh, increased the values of uh, face tonal range by using uh, color picker in the black and white tool and then uh, it is not also good and uh, fourth image I have applied brush only in the face and uh, in the fifth part I have applied brush as well as I, I enhance the area around the face and that is black and six is uh, I have put vignetting so you can really feel a difference uh, in between all these settings and uh, I have already told you it's depend on you at what result you want from from your image and totally it depends on you if I compare this image with the original image uh, so this is my first black and white image and then uh, this is second and then third black and white image then fourth then fifth and you can really feel the difference uh, with the all image and uh, different tone range and different value of contrast and different value of light thank you friends for watching this video